It's back! Heyo, what's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to new mods for Farming Simulator 19. Today I got 20 mods for you. For all platforms, we've got 9 new and 8 updates. And for PC and Mac, we've got 3 new. Let's check them out. First up today, we have the John Deere 6200 pack. This comes with a 6200 combine. We also get a 1013, two, or a 213, 216, and 4209 headers. Yeah, I thought this was going to be like a small tractor. No lie, it's what popped up when I searched. It is what it is. What do you got to do? Hey, you get a new combine. That's what you got to do. So this right here, we start at 130 horsepower, 15 miles per hour, and 3,900 liter capacity. This is an older Brazilian combine. It was relaunched in Brazil in 1983. So let's check it out. Design, we have hood and we have cabin. So you can go back and forth between those. Engine setup, we have the 6200 OM. You've got the 6200 Turbo, which is going to bump it up to 148 horsepower. And then you've got basically two different designs of that and then back to standard again. Okay, cool. So we get two different turbo designs right there. Not too bad. One of the turbo designs is a little bit newer. It was released in 1986. So there you go. Very, very cool stuff here. So you get this and we get headers. So here's your first header. This is a 3.8 meter working width at six miles per hour. This is going to be your 213. Then if we go in, you've got the 216 as well. Now this one has said, that it only supports the turbo version. So you're gonna need that extra horsepower to run this bad boy. So don't get fancy. Use this only with the turbo version. It's 4.6 at six miles an hour. And you get a corn header with it as well. Little chunky, but it is what it is. 4209, this is gonna be three meter working with at six miles per hour and does corn and sunflowers. We've got the old Polish cow building. This is gonna be an old cow building in a Polish style price is $40,000. Daily upkeep of $18 per day. Capacity is going to be 15 cows and is support for the manure system and is seasons ready. Next up is one of the coolest things I've seen if we can make something work. So this right here is the Lizard Cow 3M. This is a 1400 liter capacity, eight mile per hour fertilizer spreader. <laughs> you heard that right. Three meter working with, it's gonna drop it out the bottom and it will hold, uh, let's see, see or uh, seeds. It'll hold sunflowers and seeds. No, it'll hold lime and solid fertilizer. Now this would be a lot of fun if we could hook this up. <laughs> can't believe I said this. To the hoverboard. Doesn't it look like the hoverboard? This would be perfect. It was a missed opportunity. I don't know why we didn't do it. Main color, you start with an orange, but you've got any color under the rainbow. And then you've also got rim color. Oh, same thing. Any color that you want. And we get base game gray. So that's all we want. Just base game gray. <laughs> Nothing else you can change up with this. Um, it is a very interesting piece of equipment, but it'll be perfect for those of you that maybe don't want to shill out a bunch of money for fertilizers. Now, let's do a quick comparison. This will cost you $3,500. Now, how much would something else? So $3,400, what about this guy right here? Eight meter working width, doesn't hold as much though. Uh, let's see, this one, again, doesn't hold as much. All of the, it holds 1,400 liters, so that's your problem here. It's you, you're sacrificing one thing for another. I really like it. I think it's cool. Um, it definitely has its place, but I wish that place was behind <laughs> the hoverboard because that would be so cool. Got some more Polish stuff for you. The Polish barn. It's a barn in, you guessed it, the Polish style. It's going to be found in buildings. Price is $35,000 and has an upkeep of $14 per day. We got some new fences for you. These are going to be the concrete fences pack. This comes with 10 different fences. That's right, 10 different ones, plus two different posts. These are gonna range anywhere from around $150 all the way up to it looks like about $500. And the posts are gonna be 50 and 70 bucks a pop, depending on which one you use. These are really cool. Everything's got a daily upkeep of $1 per day. So depending on how many of these you put on, just be careful. Nonetheless, these look really, really good. I like these. And from the Tree Amigos of Farm Sim, we've got a demonic Ben and Mods. Ayo, let's go, let's go. We got the garden decking and pool. This is a garden deck with pool to relax on after a long farming day. It's gonna cost you $600 and has a daily upkeep of $10 per day. And it is a decoration. 
And another placeable for you, we've got the mailboxes. Oh yeah, a pack of two mailboxes. One's one through six, the other one is 12 through, or <laughs> seven through 12. It'd be funny to put one down, but not the other. These are gonna be good if you're building different things around your map. Great decorations here, gives you some options to go with gonna be $400 each and price is going to be $1 per day. Next up we've got something that is super super cool. So this is the Midwest Machinery Dealership. Says here we have the Midwest Machinery Dealership based in Minnesota, USA. You will find your purchases in a large warehouse. This is a very large building. It's fully animated and seasons ready. Oh man. <laughs> so it's a placeable now. That's awesome. The problem is um, well, I'm on the Millennial Farm map now, so that means I've got two of these now. <laughs> it's the exact same one, it was just picked up and plopped down. You get to work on all your vehicles and stuff here. Now, the interesting thing I'm curious about, because I know it's up here, so what happens if we buy a vehicle? I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna send it to the other side. We gotta get a John Deere, so let's get a, let's get a 6 elm right here, there you go. Is it gonna put it in here? Ah, I didn't put it in here. But I put it in the other one, which is <laughs> a little bit deja vu, but it is what it is. So nonetheless, I I dig it. Hey, check this out. We're in the other one now. Only thing I like about this one is the doors open automatically for you. Unfortunately, you can't do that with a placeable, but nonetheless, so cool to have this as a placeable now for all platforms. Put it wherever you want. You could still work on your vehicles inside. I think that's incredible. We've got the Millennial Seed Pallets. Unfortunately, these are not seed pallets. These are fertilizer pallets. Yeah, fertilizer pallets for your farm. Get them, it is good. Pretty cheap as well, 1,650 bucks for 2,100 liters. Not bad at all. And your last new mod for all platforms today is gonna be Seasons Geo Lowry, Minnesota. Experience the millennial farmer's weather conditions in Lowry, Minnesota, USA. The summers can be warm and wet. The winters can be windy with regular freezing and snowfall, and it is partially cloudy year round. Over the course of the year, the temperature typically varies from nine degrees Fahrenheit up to 83 degrees Fahrenheit words, and it is rarely below 11 degrees negative 11 degrees Fahrenheit or above 92. My goodness, I messed that whole thing up. Making our way into mod updates for all platforms. First up, we have the MRF Special Low Loader TLS 39. Change log 1.1. Changes to the 3D model, more ground clearance, decals have been revised, and new ones have been added. Side stripes now act as reflectors in white and red, collisions have been adjusted, color choices have been extended, and the manufacturer has been changed. We've got some updates to the open pastures, open sheep, open pig, open cow and open horse as well all of these are going to be similar change logs uh, the very first one open sheep is going to be added visual markers while you are placing the pasture which show where the animals will wander after placing the markers disappear so you can toggle their reappearance by clicking the rusty bucket and that's going to be the same for all of them now for open sheep pasture only we have trained sheep to give you a little bit more room when offloading the wool and stay off of things you parked in the back of the building. So this adjusted the nav mesh, basically. They've also made all triggers easier to find. Cosmetic issues with the rusty bucket clipping the wall. Added more toilet paper. What? Adjusted the wool pallet size spawn point as well. For the open pig pasture, of course, we have the visual markers, but they have also fixed cosmetic issues with textures. With the open cow pasture, again, with the visual markers, they've also increased the capacity from 110 to 150 cows. They've also straw trigger size increase and allow the loading of straw from outside building and increase the size of the feed and milk triggers to make them easier to find. And fourthly, the open horse pasture. Similar things here, we have the visual markers, but we've also significantly reduced the slot count, added the ability to take straw bales, made the straw trigger and animal dialogue trigger easier to find, Slightly increased and squared, squared, squared off that area right over there with the horses. Will wander adjusted the nav mesh basically and added warning stripes to mark the loading area. We've got an update to the Ursus N270. This is going to be change log 1.1. Fix the trailer materials, fix the collision errors, and added hoses. And lastly, an update to the JSA Swath Roller. Change log 1.1. Remove the extra object in I3D and added a color configuration. So now we have the base color, but we can do whatever we want. 
Very cool there. Thank you very much for adding it. That's awesome. Making our way into new mods for PC and Mac players today. First, we have the Millennial Farms. And before anybody asks anything, we've already talked about this many, many times in Farm Some News. You guys are ready for this. It will be and is released on PC first over the console version. This is because the console version is going to need some extra tweaks and needs extra time. Ignore, ignore the shit out there in the middle of the field. It's going to take some extra time and extra tweaks to get it just right for console players. Uh, this is the uh, finished, at least version one, uh, totally different version from beforehand. So if you were playing on the Millennial Farms map beforehand on PC, this is a different version. This is not going to override your existing save or anything like that. This is totally new. So if you want in on it and you want to experience everything the Mapper's Paradise has brought you, then this is the version that you are going to need. <coughs> Clutch simulations. What? Hey, yo. Get out of here. Nonetheless, all right, <laughs> enough messing around. Hey, it's finally here. That's awesome. I know Mapper's Paradise and Subby, those guys have been working extremely hard trying to get this out. So thank you, thank you, thank you very much for putting the hard work in, getting this out. PC's got it. Console is right around the corner. Make sure you guys stay tuned to Farm Sim News. We'll be keeping you guys updated as the progress arises. Next new mod for PC and Mac players today is going to be the GEA Belt Feeder Animal Feeding Systems. This is all good things come from above, and the Belt Feeder is no exception. This is the first step towards automatic feed supply, a small flexible solution with great economic strengths and a combination of storage bunker, conveyor belt, and sliding gate. The Belt Feeder comes in two versions, one to feed the group and hay, and the second to spread self-mixed forage. With the MVM22 bunker, large stocks can be created to feed for a longer period of time. Very, very cool, but it is a global company mod. So there you go. And your last mod today, it is the coupling of toothed harrows, AKA Borona. <laughs> I don't know. It's a cultivator, man. It's a nine meter cultivator. Requires 80 horsepower, seven miles per hour. You would be crazy if you're on PC not to be using this to start with. Seriously, come on. 80 horsepower, nine meters, seven miles per hour. It's a little bit slow, but so? If you're trying to be real. Uh, Hashtag realism. If you're trying to do that, well, then this might be <laughs> what you want. Nonetheless, there you go. That is your mods for today. And that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it. Get subscribed to the channel if you're new and join the Go Ham fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. Um, NVIDIA has already done their announcement. That's why it's taking so long to get videos out today. And yeah, your boy's getting a 3090. All being said, hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Peace.